executive, with the federal, with the uh, Congress, and all. They should sort, sort themselves out with the Congress before they come to Copenhagen. It will not be easy, I know. Or there's our parliaments. I think governments are going to be pressured by their own population that we want you to look at our unemployment. We want, it takes leadership to go beyond that. But I, I, I see the point you are making, but I don't think it should be an excuse. Thank you, Mr. Anand. Mr. <coughs> Feast, do you have anything to add to that? No. Okay. Uh, further questions? Um, the lady in the third row, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I'm Gabriela Sotomayor from Mexican News Agency. Um, sir, in your closing remarks, you mentioned something about a campaign that you will launch uh, in the road to Copenhagen. Could you give us more details about it? Or? Thank no, you. Basically, I think this has come through the discussions uh, over the past two days that we need to engage the public, that the individual citizens have to become active and, and push for action. It will be a campaign that will raise the issue of climate justice, the fact that pollution has a cost and the polluter must pay, and we should find funds also to help the poor uh, adapt. Uh, and I think um, uh, basically indicating we have to make some choices and adjustment, even within countries. Um, I often say those who bicycle should not subsidize those who insist on driving SUVs, you know, and uh, uh, with the pricing and governmental uh, initiatives, you can be able to introduce some equity and fairness. So basically, uh, uh, the poor, the 50 least developed countries account for less than 1% of the pollution. But today, they bear the brunt of the negative impact of climate change. So you have a situation where those bearing the brunt had nothing to do, had little, very little to do with the problem that uh, has been created. And we, all, we are all responsible, but as we resolve it, there must be an equitable basis, which I believe if we do have an equitable basis in Copenhagen, it will make agreement also easier. And Mr. Feust? Uh I think you will be hearing a lot more about uh, a public awareness campaign over the next, uh, uh, next few days and weeks, certainly. And it would entail you also writing to your government leaders, asking them to help. You know, and I think we often um, forget that a good leader is also a good follower. If the people act and are strong and firm, they will follow. Okay. Um, the gentleman in the second row? Yeah. Simon Hills, Afro Media Net. Um, following on from the public awareness one, though, speaking to a lot of people, they're saying there's been far too much talk and there needs to be more action. One of them is <coughs> saying that they felt that the GAF needs to become almost a strong lobbying group in the run-up to Copenhagen and really start forcing some of the nations to be prepared to take the strong cuts. <coughs> what sort of actions do you have in this sense rather than reaching out to the public but more to the government and the politicians yeah. as well? First of all, let me say that we, we must be realistic and modest. He raised a question of the realist, realist in me, you start. We have to be modest and realistic. We're only two years old. We are a very small organization. We are not, as a GHF, going to pressure governments and force them to do certain things. Even as Secretary General of the UN, I have some limitations. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you can imagine trying to do this as head of GHF. And the, I believe the only way to do it is to get people involved, is to r raise consciousness and awareness, and for the people to realize this is their issue, this is their planet, and they want their leaders to do something about it and uh, mobilize them to act. I think that is a most effective way to do, and mobilizing the public to act is effective action, I will I was submit. Yeah. Okay. Any further questions for Mr. Foust or Mr. Anna? Then I'll go to Kuwait. If you have no further okay. questions, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go to, to Kuwait. Sorry, oh, sorry that's sorry, why. Sorry, sir, the gentleman in the front row. Okay. 
My name is Gorgin de Senegal, journalist for Walfadri Senegal and ContinentPremier.com. Monsieur le Secrétaire Général, euh, le, je, si vous pouvez répondre en français, c'est très bien. Si vous n'avez pas encore oublié votre français. Si je ne peux pas, monsieur Fuster là. D'accord. Alors concrètement, parce que vous avez dit tout à l'heure, euh, s'il y a un follow-up au niveau des pays, j'aimerais savoir au niveau africain, au-delà du fait que, et comme vous l'avez dit, mm. il y a une justice qu'il faut rendre aux plus pauvres. Mais qu'est-ce que, qu -ce que aussi ces pays africains pourraient apporter Apportir. concrètement oui, Je oui, vous remercie. Ça. Non, je crois qu'ils sont, ils sont en discussion maintenant. Il y a eu des, des réunions importantes. Les, les premiers étaient à Kigali, parmi les ministres des Finances qui sont, qui sont allés là-bas pour discuter la question de l'environnement. Il y a eu une deuxième à Nairobi avec UNEP où ils ont aussi discuté ce cette, cette problème parce qu'ils cherchent à avoir une, une position commune qui n'est pas facile mais évidemment on ne peut pas laisser ça au, 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 seulement au, euh, au, euh, au ministère le chef d'état doit s'impliquer et donc chaque fois que je question de les parler je les puisse de s'impliquer évidemment ils vont travailler très étroitement très étroitement avec le groupe euh, 77. J'espère qu'ils vont pouvoir clarifier les positions d'ici septembre avant d'aller à New York, le sommet organisé par le secrétaire général Ban Ki-moon. Je ne sais pas si tu as ajouté quelque chose. Je peux, je peux peut-être tout juste ajouter que le forum a tout un réseau de partenaires et contacts aussi en Afrique, la coalition pour le dialogue en Afrique et d'autres, et on a des échanges, et aussi avec le centre sud, qui a un nouveau chef maintenant, nous sommes en contact aussi pour voir à quel sujet aussi des gens qui étaient une fois engagés dans le passé, peuvent encore euh, rendre service euh, à la préparation des positions euh, africaines dans le processus. Vous savez donc qu'il y a tout un réseau ici aussi à Genève. Il est ex-président. Donc, il y, a, il, y a, il y a déjà ça. Mais je crois qu'il y a certains chefs d'État, il y a cinq ou six chefs d'État africains qui s'organisent pour encourager les autres pour euh, travailler sur cette question et décider sur une position commune. OK. Um, we'll... Now we'll move to the uh, the last question for the session to the lady in the front row, please.